I am Rex Wade, writer and director. My experience in filmmaking is specific to writing and storytelling. I know what I want and I see it in my head already. My film is Guts. Guts is a story that revolves around two main characters and storylines. Ambrose Daly is an extremely obese man who comes from an extremely obese family living in a city with an extreme obese population. All Ambrose wants is love and acceptance from a woman he has become interested in. But all she wants, although she is intensely obese herself, she wants only thin and lean men. This sends Ambrose to go into extreme diets and weight loss strategies to win her affection, which are ultimately rejected. Simultaneously in the story, the obese in the community are being kidnapped. Some of the obese are released with scars over their bodies from liposuction surgeries, seared and cut off tongues with extreme food aversion that results in anorexia, malnutrition, and ultimately death. The others of the kidnappings are killed and displayed strategically throughout the city as manifestos of the rhetoric of the killer. The mysterious figure, Fatburner, claims responsibility for these killings as a societal catalyst to change the chemical and biological warfare provoked by the food industry to trap the common man into obesity and food slavery. Two detectives are hunting after Fatburner. The film concludes with the ultimate reveal of Fatburner as he collides with Ambrose Daly. He is revealed from behind a curtain of intestines and fat pumping tubules in his torture chambers. This film is an original piece for this contest. It is a splatter intellectual horror film with ideas of the extremes of pleasure and pain self-transformation, body dysmorphia, vanity, and appearance. The characters in this film are rich and complex with layered motivations. The main influences for this film are Saw in its storytelling, editing, and cinematography, Japanese horror films with its imagery, The Wizard of Oz in its treatment of the antagonist as the wizard and fat burner, and Jacob's Ladder in its surrealist imagery, cinematography, and real-life portrayal of the main character. Thank you.